Hey, good morning. Saturday, February 27th from the beautiful Delaware Bay. Very foggy, very foggy. Hard to see where you're going. Hmm, maybe somewhat appropriate for today's thought. It's from William Shedd. He was an American Presbyterian theologian in the 1800s, born up in uh, New England. And he said this, a ship is safe in harbor, but that's not what ships are for. And you've probably heard this quote or a variation. So the point is, right, when a ship's in harbor, it's anchored, it's safe, there's no waves, there's usually no wind, it's all tied up. And that's not really what ships are for. They're not made to sit in the harbor, they're made to get out of the sea, to go to new places, explore. And it's really just a metaphor for us. <clears throat> You know, so as I look out here at the bay and I can hardly see anything, you know, many times in life we get like that ship. We're not quite sure where we're going, so we just kind of play it safe. I know I have a whole lot. And as I turn 60, I'm like, I don't know if playing safe's good anymore. So think to yourself, where are you? What do you need to do? What do you need to see? One of the reasons we stay in the harbor as a ship as a person, for the most part is we lack vision, number one. We're not quite sure what we want to create. And number two, we're not sure of ourselves. We got some negative talk up here that tells us we're not good enough or we can't do it and all those things. So I would encourage you to sit with that, do a little work, maybe put pen to paper and think about where are you headed? You know, I have a term I'm developing called ARFL, A-R-R-F-Y-L, and it stands for a radical reverence for your life. And radical is very different from the usual or the traditional. So think about it. When you woke up this morning, did you really have a radical reverence for this gift of life? Or did you just wake up and get into your day and get busy? And reverence is that deep respect, that awe that we have. So for me, I'm thinking about that. You know, what's that radical reverence that we have for life? And today I'm here. So let's get out of the pain from the past. Let's let that go. And the fear of the future, if fear shows up, go with it. Just go with it and, and really work in the next month on some actions to create a really cool outcome for yourself. That's what you're here for. Peace.